I've put that in red. Ghana Beyond Aid is not saying that Ghana will never, ever require support or aid from other sources. No, that's not the idea. Even the U.S., that support aids from other sources, depending on what you are talking about. But we want to be in the driving seat to determine with those going to give us what we want and where we want it. We won't want you to come and dump rice on us. We don't want you to come and dump uh, frozen chicken on us. We want to develop our poultry. And therefore, if you want to give us something else, we will tell you where and how we will require it. That's what we are saying. And this is going very well with our development partners. The first group we met in discussing this were all our development partners, all the embassies and all the multilateral World Bank IMF. We've met them. And they were happy to have that. I said, look, we want your support, but you should not determine the priorities. We must tell you what we want and where we want it. That is where we must be in the driving seat in running the economy. We must determine, in short, our priorities. It's important. Because sometimes the aid even destroys your agriculture. When people just dump rice on you and you begin to get it free of charge, will you develop your rice products? You wouldn't. And that was what happened to us in the past. We were getting this aid, we developed our taste for it, and after that, when the aid was no more coming, we started buying. The aid is, in a way, sometimes develop your taste for their product. And when you have developed the taste, you will buy. When there's no more coming free of charge. So we must, we must determine where and how we want it.